Hey guys, in this project we're going to replace this old crappy ceiling fan, and the only way to control it is with this pull string. And we're going to try replacing it with this Newtone Chroma Comfort fan. And the nice thing with this fan is you can use your smartphone or you can use the included remote that you can mount on the wall, so you don't have to worry about any wearing for a wall outlet. I don't know if you can read some of those features. Bottom of the box it includes what tools you need, the housing dimensions, and the different specs of what it can do. It also includes this cardboard template guide if you need to cut your hole a little bit larger. Looks like we got some framing, some hardware, a plug there for the fan unit, I'm assuming. Instructions, and this feels like the base of it with the grill and the lighting on the outside. If you can see that. We got portlet with the little dampener this side up. And the fan unit. This is a little bit bigger and beefier than our other one. Right, so in this pile, we have the wiring. We have the plug and another different plug here. And we got, it's like it's a conduit through hole thing. I'm not an electrician, so. That. Plus the remote, light, fan, must be the color. That's a button too, I think. Instructions. Take some sheet rock screws. And the cover. And the LED lighting must be in here. Probably not going to show the entire install process because it's going to be difficult to film. Um, I would just follow the instructions, but if I can get it installed properly, I will tell you about some tips and tricks if I learn anything new and show you how it functions. All right, we got the fan installed and we got the cover on and everything hooked up. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go through the iOS app. As you can see here, we got controls for the light, we have controls for the color, we have scenes, and then the fan control itself. First, let me show you the light feature. So I'll tap the light on, as you can see the light turns on. You can tap the little arrow next to it. You can control the brightness. Sometimes it's a little slow to update. You can also start a timer on this and you can change the duration here. We never really use this feature because we just turn the lights off when we're done. You can see in the on the display it says the timer is active. The other piece we have is the color. So if you tap the color on, it'll switch to that. You can then tap the arrow and you have these certain patterns, certain colors that it'll do. Actually, these are just the colors, Chroma Tranquil, 
Chroma Soothe, so predefined ones. If you tap the little plus, you can create a new color. Sometimes this is buggy, where if you set it, tapping preview for me right now isn't doing anything, but let me tap save. I'll just say test blue, save. Now it goes to that color. So now we have our own custom color up top. So we can switch between that and back to test blue. For the other piece, we have a scenes. If you tap that, and then just a little slow. And this is more of like motion or it'll fade between different colors. So I created this night mode at 30 seconds and I just have some oranges and some reds to kind of cycles between. Um, some predefined ones that were already in here. There's this chroma flame. If you watch, it'll slowly cycle between the different colors. Rainbow. You can see this is scheduled to go do the entire cycle in one minute. So if this is interesting to you, that's what you can use this for. And of course we have the fart fan. Turn that on. And what we've noticed is if you turn the fan on and then go into here and initiate the timer, you know it says timer is active, it won't shut off. What you have to do is, let me shut that off, what seems to be the most reliable to make the fan work on a schedule is if you tap the arrow and turn the timer on, pick your time, and then turn it on, and then it seems to work. I think that might be messing some people up. In the reviews, they say the timer doesn't work. And it's a very specific sequence of the way you have to set the timer up to make it work properly. Shut that off. Um, if we go into the settings, the one thing here is kind of neat is the energy usage. It'll show you how much your daily average of usage is. Otherwise, that is the remote app. Um, I have tested where I've disconnected my phone and it will still initiate the timer and do its thing as long as you started it correctly. However, if another device connects to the fan while a timer is running, so any active timers that were there were wiped out. All right, other piece I'm gonna show you here is this little remote that you can wall mount. I have yet to do that. But you can do the same thing, where if I tap this button, as you can see, it turns on the bright LED light. You can also control the brightness using this little shoulder toggle. And then this initiates the colors. Sometimes you have to tap something more than once. And then you can use this to cycle between all the different colors. And you can adjust brightness on the colors too with the little shoulder rocker. And then you can start the fan, sometimes pressing it twice. Otherwise, it seems to work pretty well. The main thing this is good for is for somebody who has a fan that does not have an existing switch on the wall and you just had a pull string like this one did this is a cheap easy way just to get something working where you can't have a wall mount and you don't have to pull any extra wires or anything this seems to work pretty reliably the ios app is a little flaky at times 
So if you want to automate and do all that kind of stuff, the app can't do that. But if you just need something quick and simple where you want to turn a fan on and you want some extra lights, because ours did not have a light before, it's a great little fan. Um, this fan definitely p pulls out way more air than our old fan did. Our mirror stays completely dry during a shower. On the functionality regards, it works perfect. If you want to get your own, check the description below and you can find a link to the Amazon store and you can pick up your own. Thanks for watching.